So I'm going to make the numerator into 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now the denominator, 3x minus x squared, can be factored as x times 3 minus x. So let's take a look at what we have here. Now remember, it's a two-point problem, right? It's just a two-point problem. We haven't even made it to the four-pointers yet. This is a two-point problem, right? And when you look at it, it doesn't appear that there's anything that's identical in the numerator and the denominator. But one of the things we should have learned is that when we have something like this, x minus 3 and 3 minus x, those two will cancel, but they'll leave you with a negative 1. Okay, so x minus 3 and 3 minus x will cancel and leave you with a negative 1. Where should I put the negative 1? Should I put it in the numerator? Should I put it in the denominator? Should I put it in both the numerator and the denominator? The answer is choose one, either the numerator or the denominator, but not both. Because if you put it in both locations, then you're just putting a 1 there. You're not really putting a negative 1. All right, so what's my final answer? My final answer is negative. 2x plus 1 times x plus 3, all divided by x. And that's it.